My name's Stuart Wilkinson, uh, I'm married to Kate, we've got a little girl called Chloe and I'm General Manager for Stage and Connections Group in Wollongong. Uh, we've got two companies, AV Express, which is an audio-visual hire company, and Stage and Connections, which does exhibitions, conferences, themings, uh, and the sorts. Um, stress comes into to my life uh, through work uh, constantly. Uh, the events that we put on, we only get one chance at. We've only got the audience sitting there for one, one time. We can't take a second take on it. So we've got high expectations from our clients to deliver. Um, in saying that, we can't make stress go away. So we really need to work on ways to, uh, to deal with that and, uh, and have, make sure it has the least effect on our lives. Kind of went straight into a lifestyle of long hours, um, high uh, physical work. Um, and, and non-stop. It was kind of starting at 5am each morning and, and sometimes not finishing till the late hours of the next morning and turning around and doing it again. Uh, on top of that I guess I was also wanting to have a life and, and hang out with friends and, and that side of things uh, which in itself kind of all compounded and, and became quite stressful. Um, I was also wanting to, to serve in the church and, and that side of things as well so I had a quite a busy schedule and, uh, and a lot of the time was told by friends and family that uh, I needed to, to slow things up and, uh, and or I, I would get too stressed and, and that side of things and I was always brushing it off saying no I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, to I guess to the point that at one, uh, I was struck down with glandular fever which put me into to bed for three months or so, uh, really sick and in, in that time I kind of had to reassess where life was and where I was at with, with God and who I was as a person and, and I made some decisions at that point that I was going to change things in my life and um, if I only just, once I got better, that, that's how I would live and, and I got better and, and kind of a month later was back to, to the old ways and, and doing what I was doing. So um, again, I, about a year, two later, I was struck down sick again this time quite severe with an immune breakdown uh, which left me with, with no mobility in my arms uh, and and again I came to a crossroad with, with God that I was laying in, in bed uh, wondering what was happening with life and kind of uh, had kind of turned inward and, and wasn't really relating with anybody um, just due to my sickness and I guess it was at that point that I realised that um, I really need to, need to change the way that I approach life uh, in the physical way I approach life, um, the doing and what I was doing, but also mentally too, uh, how I approached things, tasks in life and, and with work and um, just how I trusted in, in God and how that related back to, to what I was doing. So, um, yes, yeah, so I came out of, of being sick and, and this time really put that into to action and um, I guess from there life kind of has gone from success to success. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet my wife, um, which in itself has been a great outlet um, for me to be dealing with my stress. Not that I go home each day and um, put it all on to, to Kate, but it's great to have someone there that I can talk to and, and share those things that are happening in my life um, and, and get that off, off my chest and out of my mind just so that I can be a fresh person each, each day and, and give it give it my most. Um, I guess with, with life I, I see that each day even though I'm working for a corporate company I'm, I'm still serving God in, in what I do and, and my actions so I really uh, keep an eye on how I act in the workplace for my employees and, and that side of things and, and really strive to, to be the best person I can be and, and dealing with stress is, is a big uh, part of that especially in our business. The key to, to dealing with stress would be um, to know that, that God's got your back and, and that it, it, the stress shouldn't be there if you've, if you've got a strong faith in Him. And, and sometimes when the stress is building up, it's that point that you need to realign and, and work out where things are at and, and are you doing uh, what God's plan is for your life. Because maybe sometimes it's just a little wake-up call to, to, to just to suss out what, what's happening in life. And, but also, too, just to maybe find somebody that you can share with and and have a chat with and, and let things uh, get out of your mind and, and, and refresh because uh, a lot of the stress comes when you're tired and you're, you're worked up and you've got a lot of things on your mind or uh, a lot of things happening. That's when uh, I guess the, the main stress can kind of kick in and, and, and the stress that people feel kind of is, is, the, is that experience. So uh, the more things that you can do to, to alleviate that, the better. And, uh, but at the end of the day, know that uh, 
that we, we live for a, a good God and, and He's got a, a plan and a destiny for our lives. And, and if we do believe in that, there's no real need to, to stress 